In the complex weave of human relationships, there are moments when one person comes to realize they have taken more than they have contributed. This is the situation your significant other finds themselves in. They have come to the painful realization that they have been drawing heavily from the well of your relationship, leaving it almost empty. They now recognize that the effort balance was uneven, with you consistently striving to advance the relationship while they fell short. This realization has brought them significant remorse as they begin to understand the extent of the damage they have caused and see, perhaps for the first time, how their actions and inactions have impacted you. They are coming to terms with the fact that they were unfair to you, took your efforts for granted, and failed to reciprocate your dedication to the relationship. This understanding has brought them deep sadness as they reflect on their past actions and feel the weight of their mistakes. One of their most significant realizations is about the separation between you two. They acknowledge that it has been an excruciating experience for both of you. They now find themselves yearning to meet with you, longing to sit down, look into your eyes, and confess their feelings. They've been in love with you for a long time, but have struggled to express it. They've wrestled with their emotions, battling their fear and their desire to be open with you. Though they've longed to share their love, their lack of courage has held them back. They want to apologize to say sorry for the times they shut you out, ignored you, and made you feel unimportant. They now understand how hurtful their actions were and are eager to make amends. They also want to reveal something they've kept hidden for a long time. They never fully showed you their true love. They were dealing with personal issues that prevented them from opening up completely. Struggling with their own problems, they couldn't express their love as they wished. Now, they feel the weight of their actions regret guilt, and longing, and are seeking a way to make things right. They want to rectify their mistakes, show you that they have changed, and rebuild the relationship. They aim to restore balance and give you the love you deserve. They are ready to put in the effort to elevate the relationship, face their fears, gather their courage, and express their true feelings. They are ready to meet with you, apologize, and confess their love. They are determined to make things right. I feel a deep frustration when we don't communicate, as if we're both stuck in a silent standoff, each waiting for the other to break the silence. This lack of communication creates a void, a chasm that seems to widen with each passing day. I desperately try to fill this void by clinging to the virtual fragments of your life that you share on social media. Each day, I find myself drawn to your profiles, hoping for a new post, a photo, or even a simple status update. It's as if these digital breadcrumbs are my only connection to you, my only way of knowing what's happening in your life. I constantly check to see if you're online, hoping that maybe, just maybe, you'll reach out and bridge the gap that has formed between us. However, lately, it seems like you're not as invested in our digital interactions as you used to be. It feels as though you're pulling away, retreating into your own world, detached from the digital realm that once connected us. This change in your behavior and apparent disinterest in our online interactions is disconcerting, leaving me feeling lost and confused about where I stand in your life. In my heart, I harbor a fear that you might be moving on and finding someone else. I feel a sense of ownership over you, a belief that you are mine despite the distance that has grown between us. 
I hold on to the belief that you still care for me, clinging to the memories of our past when our connection was stronger. Things have changed, and I find myself struggling to adapt to this new environment. The world around me no longer feels as comfortable as it used to. Amidst this uncertainty, the only thing that brings me comfort is you. You are my constant, my anchor in this ever-changing world. I've noticed a change in you, a sign of maturity that wasn't there before. Your energy is different now, calm and relaxed, as if you've found a sense of peace within yourself, a tranquility that radiates from you. Unlike before, when you were eager for the physical manifestation of our union, you now seem content with the spiritual connection that binds us. Yet, this time, I find myself yearning for more. I long for our union to be physically manifested. I yearn for the comfort of your presence, the reassurance of your touch. I yearn for the certainty that comes with being together, for knowing that we truly belong to each other. Despite the changes and the distance, my heart longs for you. And so I wait, hoping that one day you'll reach out and bridge the gap that has formed between us. In the solitude of today, your partner finds themselves in a state of melancholy. Their mind is clouded with thoughts, and their heart is heavy with emotions. They struggle to focus on the world around them as their thoughts are consumed by the void left by your absence. The usual hustle and bustle of life seem meaningless without your presence, and they find themselves yearning for your company, contemplating ways to bridge the distance between you. Your partner wants you to know that despite the physical separation, their love for you remains as strong as ever. It's as if their heart has pledged an unwavering allegiance to you, a promise that holds firm no matter where they are. Their love for you is not a fleeting emotion, but a constant, a beacon guiding them through the darkest nights and stormiest seas. The thought of reconciliation is not just a fleeting idea, but a persistent thought that occupies their mind. They are waiting, biding their time for the perfect moment when they can take a step forward, a step that could potentially change the dynamics between you both. Your partner is tired. They understand that timing is crucial and they don't want to rush things, but they also don't want to miss the opportunity when it arises. They are weary from running, running from their feelings and from the truth they've been trying to evade. Exhausted from the constant internal battle between their heart and mind, they've come to realize that turning their back on you would mean turning their back on their own happiness. They understand that they can never truly be happy if they continue to deny their feelings for you. They have realized that there is a void in their heart a void only you can fill. It's as if you are the missing piece of their puzzle, the one who completes them and makes them whole. They have tried to fill this void with other things, but nothing seems to fit. You are like a lock that only has one key, and you are that key. Your partner wants you to know that you hold the key to their heart. Your presence in their life brings them a sense of peace and tranquility that they have not found elsewhere. When they are with you, their problems seem insignificant and their worries fade away, leaving them in a state of serenity. Your presence brings a smile to their heart, a joy that radiates from within. It's as if their soul finds deep and profound satisfaction in your company. Your partner wants you to know that their feelings for you are genuine and deep. They are hopeful for a future where they can be with you and share their life with you. They are waiting for the right moment to express their feelings 
and to show you just how much you mean to them. They want you to know that no matter where they are, their heart will always belong to you. They are optimistic about a future where they can once again experience the joy and satisfaction that your presence brings to their life. I find myself seated in a silence that is both comforting and unsettling. It's a peculiar sensation, difficult to articulate. It feels as though your presence permeates the air around me, invisible yet palpable. I sense you so close, as if you're just a breath away. But when I reach out, my hands grasp nothing but empty space. 